What's going on everybody? Adam here and welcome back to another episode of The Naughty Escape. Today's episode we're going to talk about the installation, configuration, and the calibration of your Simrad Autopilot. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. Alright, so the whole purpose of today's episode is pretty much just to go directly in detail on how to set up your autopilot system and how to do it yourself. Because I called several companies and I was going anywhere between $900 to $2,200 just for the installation. And uh, they're like, well, yeah, something like that takes about 15 hours of work. Well, for somebody like you and I, or well, me who's really not that mechanically inclined, yeah, absolutely. Matter of fact, it took me about a week. Um, lots of frustration. But now that I got it set up, really only takes about four to five hours and you can definitely do it yourself. If I can do it, I promise you, you can do it. All right, so everything that I'm talking about, I will put a link in the description below so you don't actually have to do your own research. But uh, I ended up getting the kit. I did not get the secondary computer because I have two chart plotters here. If you got two chart plotters, don't spend the extra money. You can spend $1,700 just to get your power steering pump, your computer, and your compass and that's ultimately all you need now the kit will come with some power steering because you're going to have to go behind the helm drain all that oil out and actually it's really not that much um it's uh take a red solo cup that'll fill it all the way up you don't have to get like a car where you end up having to get a five gallon you know milk jug or something like that but there was a couple parts that it did not come with and this was the frustrating part because i didn't understand why i didn't it said complete kit i needed to buy a secondary nema 2000 cable to plug in directly to the chart plotter which will connect your computer your power steering uh, pump and your compass all together all right so here's what it's going to come with this is your computer this is your secondary power steering pump that gets connected to the primary which is this is the back of the helm right here it comes with the t clamps it comes with all the hoses everything that you need it does come with and here is the compass don't make my mistake I ended up mounting it here. I already drilled the holes into it. And then I have a motor to a windshield wiper there, but it had a magnetic surface. So probably for a good hour or so, I'm trying to do circles. You do it at a two to three angle and it will tell you on your chart plotter. Um, couldn't understand why the compass wasn't working. I took it out, put it you know, right down on the step just to get it away from all the electri electrical wires and um, calibrated instantly. So, so what I would suggest, and of course it's just a suggestion, take some double-sided 3M sticky tape, mount your compass mount on here. See, just like that. Just as a temporary, make sure you go on a calm day on the lake um, to get it calibrated and make sure that you're not gonna have any kind of magnetic interference with it. Uh, this is the T right here. This is what plugs everything into each other. Now, I did have to buy a secondary power uh, NEMA cable. This goes directly into the battery. Um, this one, like I said, it's all unorganized. Goes directly to your computer. Um, this one's the power also has to get plugged directly into the battery and then your drive which plugs in directly to your power steering pump. All right, you got it all hooked up. You're ready to make sure that the autopilot system in the computer is running with your chart plotters directly to your motors. Here's what you need to do and you can actually do this without getting on the water. You can commission the motors. So uh, I'm using two Simrads here. It's the same concept. Go to your settings. autopilot right here commissioning now you can adjust the steering response make it faster or slower don't worry about that calibration use wheel center the rudder so again uh, you can do this right on your trailer in your own backyard all right it's centered as it's turning is the outboard motor turning boat to starboard usually the first time it doesn't hit no I don't know if you can see that through the camera. See how it's turning a little bit to the right? Is the outboard motor turning the boat to starboard? Yes. Use the wheel. Now you manually turn it to the right. Turn it all the way till it doesn't go right anymore. Hit next. 
Now you're gonna hold this the whole time and the motors are gonna turn by itself, just like that. And you wanna go all the way to max port. Max port. Calibration is completed again. Now it's gonna center the motors by themselves. And just like that, your motors are calibrated to your computer and again, you can end up doing this on your boat. You don't have to have the motors turned on, just have the ignition turned on where you can get the power on. Um, and that's simple as that. Now you gotta calibrate the compass. All right, we're already up to you know the final step. Everything's working, your motors are calibrated with the computer. We know that they're turning just by the push of a button. Now we gotta calibrate the compass. And it's pretty much the same exact steps. Go back to your chart plotter, hit settings, now instead of hitting autopilot like we did for the motors, we want to go to network, device list, scroll down, precision nine compass. This is gonna be your compass right here. And you're going to calibrate it. Once you calibrate it, it's going to tell you to make turns two to three degree angles. And it'll actually tell you, it'll tell you that, you know, if you're turning too fast, if you're turning too slow by the degree angles. And it takes about a minute and a half to two minutes do it you're gonna make a wide turn this is what you have to do to be on the water on a flat day the lakes are typically gonna be a lot better than out on the ocean for this um, but once you're calibrated you're good to go all right so your motors are calibrated we already know those are working you could do that on your trailer your compass is calibrated you already did that doing your 390 degree circles now's the moment of truth to make sure that it works on all right so we go to our chart plotters and you can see the boat it's facing north right towards those houses. We're just gonna have it head towards the cursor. So it should be turning right and behind us. Go to cursor, should pop up, engage autopilot and navigation mode. The motors are straight. We're gonna pick it up some speed. Yes, and it'll pop up right here to confirm, telling you in advance it's gonna make a right hand turn. And all you gotta do is hit confirm. Motors are turning by themselves. You can see the boat. And now we're heading directly to our cursor. That's it ladies and gentlemen, you're still responsible for the speed. It's not gonna detect any obstacles in the way. So all these boats that are out here, if you have any buoys while you're on there, your boat's going to collide with them. So make sure you stay by the helm at all times. But this is great for trolling. If there's only one or two of you and you got five, six lines out, you wanna keep that boat straight as can be so the lines don't get crossed. Or if you got long you know, travels going to the Bahamas, which we will be in a couple months, it makes it a lot more easier on you. Hope you learned a lot, hope you enjoy. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe.